Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge Team Mini Series. And today is day 10. Today, we're going to talk about custom lead sources. And so, in order to create or manage your custom lead sources, you need to be the Rainmaker of your team, and you need to be in your Rainmaker account on the team side. So, logged in as the Rainmaker in the team account. I can come into settings and you will see that I then have the ability underneath command settings, contacts, lead sources. I now have the ability to manage my lead sources. And you'll see that this system has been very cleaned up. There used to be thousands of lead sources. It was kind of a, a kind of a mess, uh, but you can see we now have the name of the source and then the category of the source. Uh, you'll see uh, link contacts not quite there yet, but we do have created by and then when it was created. If it is a system resource, I cannot do anything with it. I can't edit it. I can't trash it. But if it's been created by me, I can edit it and I can also trash it or delete it. In addition, I can sort by a particular category of lead sources. If I want to see just my prospecting lead sources, I could do that. You would see all of those on the screen. I could go to marketing and just see the marketing ones, events and relationships. And then of course you'd see miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is where all of my current lead sources that I've created are. So there's a bunch in there, but if I do all five, you're gonna see that they all show up in that case. Um, I also have the ability to come down here to the bottom and click on viewing and then see 10, 25, 50, or 100 at a time. Finally, I have the ability to search for a lead source. So let's just say it was command web. I would see command, let's get this out of the way, command web pages there. And you can also see command web pages here, the one the system created, and then the one that came over from my Rainmaker account. To create a new custom lead source, you would just click on this Create Custom Source button. Now you must be the Rainmaker on your team in order to do so. And you would type in the source name, and then you would just choose the category that you want that lead source to be under. And once you've done that, then you can click on Create the Source, and you'll have that new lead source now in your database. I can go back in and say, whoops, that's not what I wanted. I misspelled it, I don't need it. I can edit it and change the name or the category, or I can just say, nope, I don't need this lead source. Go ahead and remove that from the system. Now, again, just one more time, you do need to be the Rainmaker in order to create custom lead sources for your team account. So you can see if I come over to my wife's account, she is not the Rainmaker. If we go into the settings on her account, you will then see that although she has the button, it is not clickable, totally grayed out. She cannot create custom sources. So the only person that can create the lead sources is the Rainmaker for the team-based account. That's it for today, guys. The uh, overhaul of custom lead sources, the ability to sort by, search by, categorize, and create new. Hope everyone's having a fantastic Monday. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you again real soon.